Good morning. Happy Friday. We made it another week. Today, Miss Lauren is back with a story, Big Red Barn, by Margaret Wise Brown, and an art activity to follow it. So you'll need blank paper, something to color with, and a pencil to use in case you want to start drawing things out first. Okay, I'm going to start with our book, Big Red Barn. By the Big Red Barn, in the great green field. There was a pink pig who was learning to squill. There was a great big horse and a very little horse. And on every barn, a weather vane, of course, a golden flying horse. There was a big pile of hay and a little pile of hay, and that is where the children play. But in this story, the children are away. Only the animals are here today. The sheep and the donkey, the geese and the goats were making funny noises down in their throats. And an old scarecrow was leaning on his hoe. And a field mouse was born in a field of corn. Cock-a-doodle-doo! In the barn, there was a rooster and a pigeon too and a big white hen sitting, standing on one leg, and under the hen was a quiet egg. There was a bantam rooster and a little bantam hen with a big clutch of eggs. Count them, there are 10. Cock-a-doodle-doo, moo, moo. There was a big brown cow and a little brown cow. There was an old black cat, meow, meow and a tiger tomcat, meow, meow. There was a big red dog, bow wow, with some little puppy dogs all round and warm. And they all lived together in the big red barn and they played all day in the grass and in the hay. When the sun went down in the great green field, the big cow lowed, the little pig squealed. The horses stomped in the sweet warm hay, and the little donkey gave one last bray. The hens were sleeping on their nests. Even the roosters took a rest. The little black bats flew away out of the barn at the end of the day. And there they were all night long, sound asleep. In the big red barn, Only the mice were left to play, rustling and squeaking in the hay, while the moon sailed high in the dark night sky. The end. Now for our drawing. Today we're going to draw the big red barn. And then we're going to try and draw as many animals as we can and color them in. I'll start. Looking at the front of the barn, I see that the top has one, two, three, four sides. So I'm going to try those. One, two, three, four. There's my four sides. Let me put some marker on it so that you can see. Let me find my red. Oh, there it is. One, two, three, four. There's the start of my barn. It's got a long roof across it. And that comes straight down. So now I've got my long roof going. Now this roof only goes across the top and it's gray. So I'm gonna go ahead and color the roof in gray. There's the gray on the roof. Now, we need to make the front door. Ooh, I see big windows up here, one on either side, and then down here, double doors. There. 
I'm going to outline those in gray too. Okay, now we need the bottom of the barn. And I see one, two, three sets of windows. One, two, three. Three sets of windows. There. Now, they're sitting on a beautiful, great green field, right? Just like the story said. So, the bottom of our barn, I'll put a little grass coming up. There's some green grass. And I can even show that there's a little grass everywhere by putting little pieces of grass coming up on the ground. I'll show you what that looks like. Looks like I made little V's. Okay, I see a corn stalk in the background. So I'm gonna make a lime green mark right back here to show where the corn field is, right? Because a field mouse was born in a field of corn. So I'm gonna use green to make the little corn stalks and then a little light orange to show the corn flower on top. There's my little corn field. Oh, and the scarecrow was there. So I'll put a round little head and a little hat and his body with arms because all we see is the arms, not the legs. I'm gonna give him a blue shirt. And he had a straw hat, so we'll put a little orange on that too. And I don't mind scarecrows, but it's nice when they smile. So I'm gonna put a little happy face on him. There's our scarecrow there in the cornfield. Now, some of these animals. I remember the pig that was learning to squeal. So I'll make his little round head and his round nose, a couple of ears, and his little body. And don't forget his curly little tail. Let's paint him pink, because they said he was a little pink pig that was learning to squeal. Oh, and some happy little eyes. Color the nose. There's our little pink pig. Now who else was in the story? Oh, they had a cow. Let's draw the little cow. Got a tall back up to his head. There's his ears. Another ear. Let's make his little snout. The cows have a long little nose there. Oh, it's a big brown cow. So we'll make the brown. Let's get a little brown on him there. Once you finish putting in your animals, you can go back and color more on your barn. I did a few bats coming out of the barn at the end of the day. Might put a little clouds in the sky, like here. 
color in those windows on my barn and finish with the outline of my door. Okay, let's see. So this is Miss Lauren's finished product. There's my little black bats that flew away out of the barn at the end of the day. And here's my big red barn and my great green field. And the little pink pig who was learning to squeal. And then one of the big brown cows that had a little brown cow. And then a field mouse was born in this field of corn. And there's our scarecrow that we saw at the end of the book. So think about everything that we read about and the things you remember. Anything you remember, you can put in your picture. Then your picture will go with the book. I hope you enjoyed this book. Ms. Lauren's been reading it to her students for years, and it's a favorite of mine. If you could tell, I barely needed to look at the pages to read it. The story is all in my mind. The most important part is to enjoy coloring this drawing that you're doing that goes with the book and make sure you always take credit by putting your name at the bottom. I'll put my name down here in the right corner. Lauren B. An artist always takes credit for their masterpiece. All right, I can't wait to see the things that you color, the things that you draw, and what you remember from the story. Post it so I can see, or leave it in our comments. All right, that's it for today. Happy drawing. Miss you till I see you. Bye.